Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You are watching the Today I Found Our YouTube channel. In the video today, we're going to look at why people breathe only with one nostril at a time. Let's get started. Breathing. One nostril at a time. About 85% of humans breathe primarily out of just one nostril at a time. This pattern of switching from breathing out of one nostril to the other happens in a cyclical fashion, with about four hours or so in between each switch, although this can vary from person to person and vary based on your body's position or nasal congestion. This nasal cycle was first discovered by German nose specialist Richard Kaiser in 1895. How your nose accomplishes this switch is via erectile tissue, which is very similar to the erectile tissue in a penis or clitoris. Erectile tissue will swell up in one nostril, mostly blocking it, and at the same time, erectile tissue in the other nostril will shrink, opening it up for breathing. Even more interesting is that depending on which nostril you are predominantly breathing out of at any given moment, it seems to greatly affect your body and brain. For instance, a study in 1988 showed that breathing through your right nostril significantly increases blood glucose levels, while breathing through your left nostril has the opposite effect. It is speculated from this that abnormal nasal cycles, such as breathing through your right nostril for many years without a switch, may be one potential contributing factor in diabetes. Another study in 1993 showed that when you are breathing through your right nostril, you will use significantly more oxygen than when breathing through your left. Most interestingly of all, yet another study published in 1994 showed that when you are breathing through your left nostril, the right hemisphere of your brain will be more active or dominant, and vice versa when you are breathing through your right nostril. Even though this switching happens naturally in a cyclical fashion, you can affect it in more ways than just plugging one nostril or the other to force breathing through the one you want. If you lay down on one side or the other, after around 12 to 15 minutes, the erectile tissue in the nostril on that side will begin to swell up, and the other side will decrease its swelling so that if you are lying on your left side, then your right nostril will open up and your left nostril will close. It is thought that this nasal cycle could be the reason that, when you sleep on your side, you will often switch sides throughout the night at very regular intervals, even if you weren't in the slightest bit uncomfortable. It could just be that your body needs to switch which nostril it is breathing out of, so you feel the urge to roll over to your other side while you sleep. So I really hope you liked that video, and if you did like it, click like below and leave us a comment to let us know what you think. And also check out a couple of our other videos, which are linked to on the screen now, and don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos every day. Thanks for watching.